about what traffic response is all about, as well as the types of traffic response. My name is Marina Loveless Sinebo. Just as I mentioned earlier, today's uh, topic will be on traffic response. Traffic response. Also known as tropism. It is also known as tropism. Alright. There are thousands of living organisms out there. Different types. They come in different sizes, different shapes. But what you should bear in mind is that they have one thing in common which is the ability to respond to stimuli. Now, one thing that you should know is that these organisms respond to stimuli in different ways. For example, animals, they respond to stimuli with the use of the nervous system as well as the endocrine system. While plants, on the other hand, they respond to stimuli by growing towards that stimuli or away the stimuli. Alright? Now, tropic response is simply the growth movement of the parts of a plant in response to unidirectional uh, external stimulus. Tropic response is simply the growth of the parts of a plant in response to unidirectional external stimulus. Don't worry, I'll explain further. Okay? So, this is what I'm talking about. Tropic response or tropism. This is the response. This is the growth of the parts of the parts of a plant. Of a plant in response. Just like he said, 
area. The word photo here means light, right? Okay, so the response of parts of the plant towards uh, light is what is known as phototropism. Alright, so I've put some charts right there. I want everyone to take a look at those charts. One of the charts depicts uh, uh, phototropism. Are we there? Yes. Okay, so one of the charts illustrates uh, phototropism. Can you see it? Okay, now any plant, any plant has got two main parts known as the shoot and the root. But what we are seeing right now is the shoot, isn't it? What we are seeing right now is the shoot, but downwards there, we know that there are some roots, isn't it? Yes. With the, uh, between the two parts, which part do you think grows towards light? Yes, Panado? Shoot. All right. It's, it's visible, isn't it? Yes. The shoot is the one that is growing towards light. Okay, so most of the things that we teach you here are things that are practical. Okay, so right here in this lab, there are some potted plants at the window. Everyone can look at the window. There are some potted plants, and I want someone to tell me what's going on. I want someone to tell me what's going on. What I'm seeing myself right now are potted plants, but what do you think is going on? In relation to the, I mean, in relation to this topic, Grace. The plants, especially, specifically, the shoots are going towards light. All right. So as you as you can see, the shoots are growing towards light, which is coming from the window, isn't it? Okay. Now, what you think is the importance of this uh, tropism? What do you think is the importance of phototropism? Yes, Dresma? It exposes the use of photosynthesis. All right. So, tropism is very much important because it enables the leaves to obtain light that is required for the process of photosynthesis to take place. Okay, so, importance of phototropism. The importance of books for tropism. Okay, so this one enables it enables uh, leaves. It enables leaves to obtain to obtain light needed needed for photosynthesis. Needed for photosynthesis. Right. The next tropism we are going to look at is the um, geotropism. Okay. We move on. Let's look at geotropism. Geotropism. Okay. What do you think is the meaning of the word geo? The meaning of the word geo. Elena. So what is so or round or egg, isn't it? Yes. All right. Who can give us the definition or what is your tropism? What is your tropism? Yes. The work. The growth of parts of the plant in response or towards process. All right. So geotropism is simply the growth of parts of a plant towards gravity. Okay. The growth of the parts. Parts of the plant, parts of a plant, towards gravity, or you say in response to gravity. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. Towards gravity. Okay, so uh, area. When we were, we were looking at phototropism, we say the shoots are the one that grows towards the light. But here it's a different case. The, the parts of the plant that grows towards gravity are the roots. It's not the whole plant, but just a part of the plant. So here on geotropism, it's the roots that are involved. 
And okay, so the importance of geotropism is to simply support the plant into the ground. Yeah. It supports the plant into the ground. Yes. In addition, maybe I can say the roots maybe they absorb nutrients such as in the soil into the plant. Okay. So it supports the plant into the ground as well as enabling the roots to obtain nutrients that are found in the soil. Isn't it? Yes. Alright. Thank you very much, Panado, for that contribution. around 
out or dreaming around that foreign object. Now, why do you think it's like that? Or what is the importance of uh, pig motor music? Why do stems dream around uh, certain objects? Yes, Milika. To get mechanical support. To get mechanical support. So this uh, pig motor pigeon doesn't happen in all plants. It, I mean, in all plants, it happens in certain plants whose stems are weak. I follow you. This kind of metropism only happens in plants that have stems that are weak. Okay, so those weak stems they twin around an object so as to obtain support. Not only that, those stems they twin around so as to obtain light that is needed for photosynthesis. Okay, the importance of big motorism. Thank you. 